Hello there, my name is Valgan, and welcome back to my seed tour series. Today I will be featuring a very unique seed for those who like mushroom islands, flower forests, and mountains all near spawn. There is... But that's not all. This seed has many unique features such as this flower forest cave with a natural moat around it. There is also an exposed end portal in an ocean not too far away. This seed, in the current 1.16 version of the game, has every biome and structure within approximately 2,000 blocks from world spawn. With that said, let me point out that this seed is compatible with every version of Minecraft. However, this series focuses on the Bedrock Edition version of the game. So, without further ado, sit back and enjoy the tour. Now, let's get this tour started with a look at World Spawn, which is located in the middle of a mixed forest biome. As you can see, the forest is surrounded on three sides by mountains. I've marked the exact spawn point with this here target block, which happens to be on top of an oak tree. Down below, underneath this tree, is where the starter chest will spawn. Now let's travel up vertically to get a better view of the world spawn. As you can see, there are mountains and hills surrounding the area on all sides except for the north, where there is a decent sized lake. Right next to the spawn point is a crater which provides easy access to stone for tools and can even be used as a foundation for building a starter base with convenient cave access below. Here I have created a world map to give players a perspective of where each critical biome is located in proximity to world spawn. As you can see, most of the rare biomes are located in the north and all accessible via ocean route. This also includes many of the important rare structures.
The nearest kelp forest is located in a massive ocean to the north. And now, let's take a look at the nether. Unfortunately, this seed's nether spawns you in a soul sand valley biome. But, if you enter via a portal at world spawn, you at least get placed in this small cave which provides some safety.
I highly recommend tunneling this direction from the nether portal as it is the quickest and safest route to most points of interest such as crimson forests, warp forests, and nether fortresses. For those of you who are looking for a good place to build a zombie piglin farm, I found this wide open space here above a massive lava lake. I found several nether fortresses, at least one in every biome. That's all I got for this seed tour. Thanks for watching, and please let me know in the comments which biomes you are looking for so I can prioritize my collection of rare seeds for future video tours. This is Valgan, logging off.